feel tired, you can stop. Initially, you can start by doing this only 30 times. After doing it 30 times, you will feel tired, so you can relax. After relaxing for some time, you can start Kapal Bhati Pranayam again. Kapal is the forehead and Bhati means glow. By doing this pranayam, one can experience a glow which is extremely beautiful. This Kapal Bhati Pranayam is very useful in increasing the facial glow of the person who performs this pranayam. Their forehead will emit a beautiful glow, a kind of light, a kind of radiance, a splendor and brilliance. So, to make your body look beautiful or your face look beautiful, you will not need to apply any cosmetics. If you practice Kapal Bhati Pranayam, your face will glow. It will emit a beautiful light. And by doing this pranayam, the Muladhar Chakra will awaken. Then, the Kundalini will awaken. While doing this pranayam, concentrate on the Goladhar Chakra and naturally, the Kundalini powers will awaken. A vertical line is drawn and the powers undergo a vertical transformation. Now we'll again start the Kapal Bhati Pranayam. Exhale with full force, with an aim in mind, a determination and a thought that whatever impurities and toxins and illnesses are there in my body, they are all being expelled out. When there is an accumulation of toxins in the body, it gives way to diseases. While doing the Kapal Bhati Pranayam, think in your mind that whatever toxins or oxidants are in my body, they are being expelled from my body. And when there will be no toxins or no oxidants in my body, then how will my body be affected by diseases? So think that whatever toxins were there, they are being expelled. The disease-causing ills are being expelled. And also all the impure thoughts that you had since time immemorial are also being expelled from the body. Whatever impure thoughts were there in the conscious, unconscious and the subconscious mind are being thrown out of the body. When you feel tired, stop. Don't overexert your body. Relax and start after some time. Those who have heart problem or high blood pressure, these patients should do this pranayam only at a medium speed, like this. People with heart problem and those having high blood pressure should not perform this pranayam at high speed. Instead, they should do it at medium speed. Those who are physically weak should also perform this at a slow speed. When you feel tired, stop immediately and do not overexert yourself. If one wants to reduce weight, one should do this pranayam for 5 to 10 minutes. Gradually increase the time. On the first day, do it for 1 minute, then gradually for 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, up to maximum 10 minutes. The minimum time for this pranayam is 5 minutes and the maximum time is 10 minutes. So, this pranayam is for those persons who want to reduce weight or keep their body healthy or want to get rid of constipation, gastric troubles and acidity, want to get relief from cirrhosis of the liver and hepatitis B, should practice this pranayam and gradually increase the practice time. By this pranayam, the problem of prostrate can be fully rectified and also this pranayam dissolves the fibroids in the uterus. This pranayam is extraordinary. This is why I say that the Kapal Bhati Pranayam is the Sanjeevani or eternal life provider of the earth. Those who want to remain healthy and those who want to get rid of long or incurable diseases, there is no disease on the earth which cannot be cured by Kapal Bhati Pranayam. While doing Kapal Bhati Pranayam, concentrate on the Muladhar Chakra and then you will experience the awakening of Kundalini. From the Muladhar Chakra, a kind of light, glow, radiance rises on the body and purifies the Swadishthan, Manipur, Tridai, Anahad, Vishuddhi and Ajayan Chakra and reaches the Sestral Chakra. That light, 
glow and radiance rises upwards, reaches the sestral chakra and purifies all the chakras. So to purify the chakras and to cure diabetes, to get rid of obesity, to get relief from stomach related problems, reducing cholesterol and also reducing triglycerides, this pranayama is extraordinarily useful. Even for diabetes, obesity, problems of allergies and asthma, for sinusitis, for allergies, for those who have a bout of sneezing early in the morning, for people who snore, those who have these problems should perform this pranayama. Children who are unable to concentrate on their studies should do this pranayama. Their mind will become more focused and alert and they will be able to concentrate on their studies better. For the concentration of mind, this pranayama is very useful. We'll start this pranayama again. Exhale properly, but air is being inhaled. When you exhale, you don't have to do like this. This will be wrong. You will be able to exhale naturally. You will feel that your body is rid of diseases. Through this pranayam, all rheumatism related problems are eliminated. Vat, Pitt and Kaf, all three are in balance. People with content mind senses and soul are the healthy people. By performing this pranayam, all the diseases are expelled. The toxins are thrown out and the impurities are also expelled. All the systems of the body fall into order on their own. On your face, there will be blissfulness and your heart will experience happiness. There will be a difference in your life. By doing this pranayam, you will experience a blissful happiness in your life. You will feel more healthy by doing this pranayam. Again, we will relax. So, this was the Kapal Bhati Pranayam. This pranayam is the Sanjeevani of Earth. Whether someone has any disease or illness, be it cancer or hepatitis B or even AIDS, for everyone, it is essential that they practice this pranayama, not on one or two persons, but this pranayama was experimented on lakhs of people and it was found that there is no medicine or yoga knowledge which is as effective as this pranayama. So, we give special emphasis on this pranayama. And the various exponents of yoga have also given special mention to this pranayama. This was the Kapalabhati Pranayam. Kapalabhati should be practiced minimum for five minutes. Whether you eat food or not, and whether you have breakfast or not, but you must practice Kapalabhati Pranayam. It should become a part of your life. You should pledge that unless and until you practice this Pranayam, you will not eat food and then see that you will never be affected by any illness in your whole life. You will save a lot of medical expenses if your body is healthy. This body which is like a temple, a gift of God, will be healthy and will again become a house for the pure. This body of ours is actually the abode of the gods. You must perform pranayama and make this body of yours a house for the gods. Then you will be able to introspect and understand yourself. And then you will be able to find the Supreme One within your soul. By this pranayam, you will be more focused and your concentration power will also improve. We'll do this once more and then move forward.